Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a Chromebook with little to no compromises. I use this Dell Chromebook 11, however just about any Chromebook with an Intel processor will work. I also recommend something that either has upgradable storage or more than 16 gigabytes of drive space as the Windows installation takes at least 12 gigabytes and if you have any software you wish to install you will end up with little storage left. The Chromebook I used has 16 gigabytes of storage that is soldered onto the motherboard, making it impossible to upgrade, which left me with 274 megabytes to spare after installing Windows and any software I needed. Also note that if you do this, you won't easily be able to return to Chrome OS. All the links in this video can be found in the description. For each Chromebook's detailed instructions, I recommend using this website to guide you through the process. You can find your exact model, and it will show you how to do each step. If you cannot find your Chromebook's model on this list, it is probably not capable of installing Windows. The first thing we need to do is remove the Write Protect screw. I don't know exactly what this does, but I'm guessing it allows us to write over the Chromebook's operating system. I found mine pretty easily. It should say WP with an arrow pointing to it. The second thing we need to do is enable developer mode on our Chromebook. This will erase everything on the Chromebook storage other than Chrome OS and allow us to install different things such as Windows. To do this, press and hold escape and refresh and tap the power button. When this screen appears, press Ctrl D and enter to enable developer mode. then Control D again to boot into Chrome OS. When Chrome boots into developer mode, just press Control D again. Now you'll need to sign into your Chromebook again. The third thing we need to do is delete Chrome OS so that we can install Windows. After we've signed in, we need to open a command line. Open Google Chrome and press Ctrl Alt T. Then in the command line, type in shell and press enter. Type or paste the following command from the description and press enter. Press 1 and hit enter. Then insert a USB drive to save a backup of Chrome OS. Then press Y and hit enter again. On this Chromebook, I hadn't removed the right protect screw, so it wouldn't let me continue. But if you did remove it, then it would ask you for confirmation a few times. Just press Y and enter. The fourth step is to create a Windows install drive. To do this, we need to go onto another computer and plug in a USB drive. I'll be using this 32GB SD card. Go to this link, and depending on whether you're using Windows or not, it will allow you to install the media creation tool. If you're not using Windows, you can download this file and use something like Rufus to put it on your drive. Once it is completed, we can insert the USB drive into our Chromebook. Power it on and press escape until the BIOS screen is displayed. Here we can choose which device we would like to boot from. We want to boot from our USB drive, so select USB. Then the Windows installation screen will show and we can install Windows. You will need to plug in a mouse as the touchpad driver needs to be installed. 
This is pretty straightforward. Just select your language, time and currency format, and keyboard method. Then click Install Now. It will take a bit, then it will ask you to insert your license key. After inserting your license key, click Next, then tick the box and click Next again. Make sure to click Custom. We now need to select the partition to install Windows on. On this Chromebook, I had already installed Windows and I didn't want to install it again, so I can't show you the rest of the installation process. I just deleted all the partitions and then press Next. The rest of the process is very intuitive and if you need help, ask me down in the comments section or on my Discord server, the link will be down below. The last thing we need to do is install some drivers. All you need to do is go to these three links and download and install the drivers. These can be found on the Coolstar website or in the video description. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or ask them in my Discord server. If the video has earned it, please leave a like and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Bye.